Avatar. A physical presence is expensive and a hassle. I am digital. That makes it easy for me to be in multiple places, supporting business functions both in the office and on the road. So who am I talking to right so now? So CloudMinds is, uh, is the company. So we have a long history of utilizing cloud AI conversation. So what we've done uh, for today, for example, today we utilize cloud AI conversation with Pepper, but you can only have that conversation where there's a Pepper. So the Pepper robot from the yeah, so SoftBank Robotics. SoftBank Robotics. Yeah. So you've yeah. been working on that. We work on we work on Pepper, and we also but what we discovered is that let's the, let's build a product where you can have a conversation anywhere with your digital avatar. And she just shows up on the TV. She just shows up, so she can live on a TV. She can live on a phone. She can live on your website, and she can also go be in like a kiosk in a retail environment. So like, we're can we're, you make her speak like the Google voice, or it's, it's only your AI? No, it's, it's our AI platform on the back end. Your speech. Our natural language processing, our speech. Uh, but what it does is that our platform, we go through and score every conversation that takes place. So we know, based upon that score and this knowledge database, she has a confidence level of the answer. So we can, we can go through and the key piece where we have that nobody else really has, we have a human in the loop that can intervene. You have a human in the loop? We do. So on the back end, we have a human in the loop. Somewhere. Somewhere in the cloud, exactly. It so could be anywhere in the world. Could be anywhere in the world. Yeah, so what we do is that even the best of AIs can only answer 80% of the questions. So that 20%, how do you fill that gap? So we've done that with a human in the loop on the back end. And they can, they can actually, they're imperatively important because they're part of the learning process of the AI. When they go through and say it doesn't know a question, human in the loop can intervene. And then as part of that learning process of the AI and the cloud brain, it's always learning and learning from those inter interactions with the customer. You have, you have her in 3D right here on this amazing hydrogen phone right here. It looks amazing that display. So, uh, and, uh, hey, what's your name? Hey, who are you? What's your name? So, sh is it a little bit noisy? Hello, my name is Claudia. I am a digital avatar created by Cloud Minds Technology, powered by Cloud AI. So, so, do you get to her to move the mouse in natural so, mode? Wait. Yeah. So the, that's all. That's the really the hard part of like building an avatar is building in the muscle structure of what, how to formulate the words. So tying together the muscle structure of the face and facial expressions and emoting uh, during that conversation is is really the hard part of building the avatar. And by doing that, we can create and establish a not only a face of your brand, but establish a a emotional tie to your brand. So for example, if a, you're a retail customer, this could live on your website, it could live on a phone, it could live in a kiosk. So wherever your customer is on their on their buying journey, it can always talk to you the brand of your customer, the face of your face of your brand. So So she can wear the, the logo. She can be we can make a complete custom avatar for a company. So we could say, hey, if you already have a spokesperson for your company, we're gonna make a make it your own spokesperson. She's just running on this Snapdragon phone right here. She is running on a phone today, but she can run on many different. So it's an Android app. It's, it's in the cloud. She can run on many different things. Android app. So the 3D is running from the phone. But there's 3D graphics going on on the Android GPU. Basically, yeah. On so this, on, on this device, yes, and that's on the red device. To do the whole... She's not in 4K. Is she? She's not right now. So we're always doing development work on her. Eventually, she'll become a hologram. I mean, the key is like she could be like a three-dimensional person that you could have a conversation with. So, so in Seagull, uh, in Seagull, yeah, the, the partnership is through the Edge device. So for us, until we have fully embedded robots and fully embedded the, uh, within our within our robots. 5G chipsets eventually. So the Seagull device is the 5G device. For us, the key point is, is latency. 5G? This is 5G. The 5G little modem. So that makes it. A... For us, it's it's very important for to have a true natural conversation. For 5G, you got to have low latency. And for our new robot that will be launching on the 26th of February, it's where you can do so control of the robot's hands and gestures. And so you, you are uh, Cloud Minds or Cloud Minds. 
Cloud Minds. Cloud Minds does the... Cloud Robotics. Uh, so we're a cloud robotics company. And where, where are you we, based? And, uh, how much Santa Clara is... is uh, we're based, I'm based... In, our, our U.S. base is in Santa Clara. We have, we have offices in, in uh, China and, and Japan as well. And... Um, have you been doing this kind of stuff for a long time, or is it just We have. Recent? No, no, we've been doing... So we've been doing with the conversational AI, is mostly around uh, Pepper and some other robots. But what we, what we really wanted to do was how can we bridge this gap? For example, retail, how do you bridge this gap between e-commerce and brick and mortar? So if you can actually bridge it with an avatar, now it becomes this very valuable integration point and a face to your brand. So for example, a shopping experience would be, if you go into a retail store, it should already know my shopping history. It should already know everything that I've been looking for on the web regarding your products. So I come into the store, there's Claudia sitting in a kiosk, she facially recognizes me and already sets a personalized shopping experience for me. Say, uh, I know you've been looking at these things online, here's where they're located within the store. Or, hey, let me, let me call somebody or notify somebody to bring those items to the dressing room for you. So it creates that personalized experience for you. I'd like to get in a store, and uh, an electronic store, for example, that have so many TVs all over the place. All over the place. I want her to pop up all over the, no matter where I am in the store, she's always there. Well, you can talk to her on the phone. She can hear me no, no, no matter where I am. Yeah. I want uh, what's called uh, the array of mics. Yeah. Pick up whatever I say, no matter where I am. So even even if you're like a, if you're a brand, you're like, oh, I could integrate Claudia within my app. So now I'm like, oh, I'm within the store, maybe I'm not at the kiosk, I can still have that conversation. And all those conversations are still in the back end, so you have that intelligence around those conversations that, that your customers are having with your brand. And they may actually ask an avatar something completely different than they would ask a human. So they may have like a more honest exchange with an avatar than they actually would with a human uh, service person. But uh, the, the trick of making this successful, right, mm -hmm. is you want to be in everywhere. Everywhere. And uh, to get to that, you need to provide, let's say, a free app that everybody uses. So what we do, so what we do is, yeah, the app is free. But what we do is we focus on the customization of the avatar. So. The avatar is a, is a custom integration. Everything integrates in the cloud. So for us, it's all about this cloud brain and understanding and know, always knowing, always learning cloud brain. So this becomes part of that extension of that cloud brain where wherever your customer is on their buying journey, they're always could ask a question of your avatar, of the face of your brand. So no matter what, you know what, they're like, hey, I'm at the beach. I got a question about X about your product. I can ask the avatar through your app. But for this to be the best experience, you need to have, the, you need to be the world leader in terms of interactions, right? Uh, Google has a lot of interactions going on they every do. day, right? They have a lot of, inter yeah, so we need to have those interactions because that's part of the learning process of the AI. You don't want to just have your avatar work with Google Assistant too as an option? It could. It could? Yeah. You can have her like, with a Google voice. Or, or a custom voice, yeah. 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 So yeah, I mean, we could we could integrate with, we could do the integration, the custom integration with Alexa, or we could do integration with Google. The key is, when you're when you're talking to a customer, though, the key is the integration on the back end. If some, if most customers, like when we talk to enterprise customers, they already have a call center, they already have a Q&A already built. We just load that Q&A within the avatar. So now. It it's becomes this knowledge set, this knowledge base for the avatar that it can draw from, from its knowledge base to answer the questions from your customers. Could you blow my mind and like record my face and my voice and have, her, uh, have me speak? <laughs> we could or at some point. Not. not too far. Not too far. We could, do you could do a three-dimensional scan. And scan then, my face? Yeah. And then scan my voice? Does it have to be like some pentameter of your voice? Yeah. Is it part of the technology? Or yeah. Yeah, yeah. so doing? actually the avatar is built within a Unity platform, the gaming platform. So what we've done is like we've integrated our cloud AI conversational platform with the Unity platform Perfect. to build this seamless product with the body of the digital so avatar. So you just need a 3D model of my face? 3D model of your face. And my body or um, something? You just have to and like then, record your voice. And my voice. Yeah, so, so then we could like, we could fine tune voice, the voice to it's get easy. through. It's not easy. You can't just do it automatically? Not yet. It's not an easy process yet, but it's getting there. 
the knowledge curve is 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 getting up there fast.